Super excited, very exciting day. First of all, I'm not financial advice, consult your licensed financial advisor. I'm not a licensed financial advisor. Do not invest in anything you're not willing to lose or lose sleep over. Equities, bonds, currencies, everything very volatile, very risky. Um these are my opinions, my thoughts. I could be wrong, I could be right. Uh, so I posted two videos in the newsroom, links below this video, talking about, um, uh, <laughs> I guess how the like, collapse is going to play out, how I think it's going to play out. I also talked about my, um, my remedy, my cocktail I drank, because, uh, Tuesday I fell ill, I got the coof. And I know I got the coof because I got it from a girl. We got our test results today. Hey, it was fine. I for me. Maybe I was nauseous. Had a headache. Um I didn't really hit a fever, but it got pretty high in the nineties. And I worked out the day before and the day after. <laughs> so it was not, I've had worse colds. Alright. Um, but I talked about that in the uh, other videos in the newsroom that I uploaded because I can't talk about those things I was talking about, you know, on here, which again, go find me on other platforms. If you don't, you know, when everything's gone, it's going to be eventually, uh, you know, people are going to forget channels, like all the channels that are gone, those people are still, they're still around. They're just not on this platform all right so let's talk about the markets let's talk about the bitcoins and um because everyone's like fomoing even in the news even in the private group like listen in march i said you're into it when it was three thousand bucks <laughs> you think it's gonna go back up probably a good time to start loading up Whoever listened to me then isn't excited and well they're excited but they're not FOMOing that it's right now they're nervous should I take profits and that's how you should be feeling right now if you did the right thing should I be getting out should I be taking profits I personally would have gotten out back down around 19,000 now it's like at 22,800. Can I run higher? Yeah, I don't know. It's crypto. Um, but when you're looking at a just off of Bitcoin here, you're looking at a five hundred. 30% move in what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. In 10 months, it's the cycle has ran its course, right? Like, what do you want? Every $1,000 Bitcoin goes up, it's less than a 5% move to the upside. And the higher it goes price wise, even less every thousand dollar move up is a, is a percentage gain so once it gets to like 30,000 right every thousand move up is only like I, I can't do the math in my head I'm not that smart it's like probably like a 1% 2% move percentage gain so 
the the higher it goes, the harder it is for it to go higher. And then yeah, there's every argument, you know, if every millionaire bought one, I get, I know. But listen, mainstream media is hardcore pumping it, and I like being a contrarian and you know taking the opposite end. By the way, I mean, the higher it goes, the happier I am. I've got, I'm. Let's just say there's this other crypto I know about. It still outperformed every crypto out there, like over 500x moves this year, and then it fell back down. It crashed, like over 90% drop. So I'm excited for that. Hopefully, well, not hopefully. I think cryptos are going to correct because the stock market's going to correct. Everything's going to correct because what do markets do? They hurt. And they take away the money from the masses. From the mo Markets hurt the most amount of people as humanly possible. And rewards the fewest. So if everyone's FOMOing, you should be probably unloading your bags on their heads. And that's the game. The game is rigged for people who have money and for people who have patience and no emotions whatsoever listen you have to be self-aware you have to have emotional intelligence if you are ever excited you are probably on the wrong end of the trade or you're about to get wrecked um the only emotions you should ever have is greed and that's when everyone is depressed that would be down here right very simple that would be here. Let me change the color to blue. That would be down here. That would be down here. When everyone's like, oh my god, it's over. That's when you're greedy. When everyone's up here, like, oh my god, this time it's different. Oh my god. Bull trap. Oh my god. That's when you're unloading. It's, it's literally that simple. Look, it's just giant fractals of emotions. It's, it couldn't draw it any better. Can it go a little higher and sucker in a few more people? Can it shoot up to 30,000 in literally one week? Yeah, why not? Just know at any given time, the party could end. And when it does, what do markets do? Let me zoom in. What do. Come on. This is a monthly chart, by the way. What do markets do? They take. The elevator up. I mean, they take the. Not, they take the stairs up, right? And the stairs get steeper. And then what happens? They take the elevator down. Stairs up, elevator down. That simple. Because the breath, the volume, the momentum, it gets lost. And then there's no buyers once it starts dropping. There's only sellers. And then there's just giant air pockets, right? That need to be filled. This was a giant air pocket. Well, the initial drop, <clears throat> I remember this back then. This happened very quickly in two months washed a lot of people out and then it just dicked around for four years <laughs> so you lost four years of your life this is another reason why i just stopped for long for years talking about it i'm like i'm not gonna waste my time with this I'm just gonna get chopped around and lose all your money four years i didn't talk about it in march i did say if you're into it probably a good buying up in the private group i bought i bought some people bought with me doing great but I didn't buy a lot of Bitcoin or ETH or anything. I did buy ETH though. But, um, and that's been really shooting up. See how Ethereum did. Doing great. Told you guys right down here because Bitcoin, Bitcoin was moving before, um, uh, altcoins and ETH. I told you 
around this area, and even March, if you listen to me, at then the price was around 80 bucks. Right now it's 640. Would have done like a 7x just on that. And then the other other one I was talking about, it moved prior to these moves currently and did like you know life changing stuff. But um, yeah, I mean it's now would be probably the time to maybe think about exiting. And because uh, cryptos are so highly correlated to equities now because of the derivatives. I'm still nothing has changed just because the market went up today and yesterday which is going up on stimulus hopes do you not think the stimulus hopes hopes hasn't been priced into the market already for equities absolutely because every week for the past like months oh there's stimulus hopes they're gonna pass something blah 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 and it, even if they do pass something it's gonna be buy the rumor sell the fact in my opinion not just that Here's another thing, the dollar. The higher the market goes, the further the, the, the dollar falls. Because the market's only going higher on stimulus and uh, QE. And, the, and Jerome and FOMC was yesterday. And they were very uh, dovish. Are they really doing anything yet? Not really. Sending out $700 checks, a few more PPE loans. I don't think that's gonna that's enough to stimulate the market they're gonna have to do way more than that so listen by the way I'm wearing a beanie now turned into uh, Tim pool <laughs> I, I feel fine I just you know I want to keep my head warm I do feel a little pressure still on my forehead uh, here's the dollar the DXY Dixie. I mean, it's at the 90. The only way they're going to stop this, I mean, if it falls and makes a new low prior than the last, which was around 88 handle, then it could easily just real quickly drop to 83. And that doesn't, and that is literally like the Fed losing its ammunition in its, uh, in its, uh, its pistol or its toolbox, right? And they don't want to do that. They want to buy themselves more time so they could do endless stimulus in 2021 to keep the bubble inflated. Because after the correction, it's going to take even more stimulus to reinflate it or just to keep it from falling all the way down to wherever it needs to go for the market to hit uh, equilibrium or reality to where the real economy is. And to flush out all the malinvestment and debt and God knows. So I think they're timing the market correction with possibly orange guy staying in in place. Because he ain't backing down and there's more and more evidence coming out. I don't know what's gonna happen. I really don't know. It can, anything could happen. The the chances of him staying there is very low, but with the right amount of evidence, with the right amount of support, and ninety two percent of um, conservatives believe it was stolen, uh, and a lot of lefties do as well. Well, it's actually worse if they if he leaves right or gets dragged out. Because then the status quo, the establishment, could easily lose power in 2021, as everyone says, the hell with this. So you have to keep that in mind. It's all about them staying in power and what the broader public and the masses really believe. Because believe it or not, the the masses have the power they 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 have the manpower they and not just that if the masses are believe that this was all not right i have to be careful with words i use then who's going to enforce anything and everyone's going to ignore the laws so th there's still a chance he's going to stay in power 
Um, we'll see. I don't know. I have no idea. But if he does, I do believe Wall Street's going to dump this market as hard as humanly possible. The elites? Oh, yeah. And then we're getting the Christmas star. You know, millionaires don't believe in uh, the star stuff and all of the occult stuff and <laughs> the, the stars aligning. But the billionaires do. Because it's a club. Most of us ain't in it and we don't understand what they believe in. All right, so... I think they'll crash the markets. Not just that, that would actually give give a nice bump to the dollar and it would hurt most people. It would hurt like literally 99% of retail investors. It would hurt everyone's retirement. It would hurt most of Wall Street as well. And the smart money would profit immensely if they know that's coming and you know. The dollar would get a nice uh, bump which is perfect for the Fed to be able to print later in 2021 to reinflate the bubble. And the market would drop significantly quickly. It would be ferocious. And so will uh, Bitcoin and everything. And everyone's going to get hurt. Margin calls all over the board. The dollar gets a nice bump, a rebound. Probably won't get past the 98 handle though. So let's just take a look. Let's go back to the corn. Do a lot here. Not all right. All right. So here's a monthly on it. Listen, I don't want any trolls in the comment section. I didn't miss out. I I've known about this since like 2010. <laughs> You're talking to Shamu. <laughs> Trolls. <laughs> I've been around. I've I've been around. I've seen all this. All right. Um. Here's the weekly. Looks very red on the heat map. Just saying on the weekly. Looks very parabolic. Go to the daily. Look at this. This is like a blow off top. By the way, if the price gets back down like anywhere around 20,000, this will be a shooting star. A reversal pattern candle. Uh, four hourly. Got a nine sell on the four hour right now. I should put it, I should upload this video real soon. All right, um, let's take a look at the markets again. Nothing has changed. I still have my shorts on <laughs> so far, <laughs> but my short positions, they're getting hurt right now. I'm going to double down, place more as this market goes higher. That's called conviction. And um, yeah, I mean, heat map super red on the NASDAQ composite three-day chart. Super red. Let's go to a, a weekly. It's on a seven count. So two more weeks of possible upside. We get the nine cell count on the NASDAQ composite. By the way, NASDAQ goes, so does the rest of the market because all the money's in what? The tech stocks, FANG stocks. Uh, the monthly. It's on an eight count. So next month's a nine. So yeah, maybe this market may hold off another month. Maybe it, it'll correct early. Maybe it'll correct uh, next week starting because the year's over and people want to take... Um, we're, we're getting close to the end of the year. Today's the 17th. Maybe for uh, tax purposes, right? Take a look at the here's the S&P 500. I can see another candle just going straight up, and they'll give you a blow off top. And I don't know why the Fed would want that because that happens. It's going to take way more uh, stimulus and fiat and QE to reinflate this once this thing corrects because it's going to be a sharp one, probably like this. Not quite as bad, but it'll be a Sharp one. There's huge air pockets. 
here's uh the fang index on the left here has that composite on the right let's look at the fang three day uh, three day doesn't look that bad take a look at the weekly and the heat map's not red oscillators we're moving to overbought take a look at the monthly on the thing index all right here's what's interesting by the way larger the time frame the more um weight it holds on what will happen on a six count sucks that means i could do another seven eight nine three more months of upside that would suck for me because um, I put on those shorts and also also that make things very difficult because gold and silver is going to rise with the equities and then metals are going to get slammed later and it's going to be hard to to get in and get out well not hard to get in but it's hard to get out go to a daily a four count maybe five six seven eight Another week of upside. All right, let's take a look at the other indexes. See what they say. Here's the Russell. Two thousand mid cap companies in the U.S. This really should reflect the real economy in the U.S., but this is also pretty much juice because of index funding. Thanks to Ray Dalio. The weekly is on a seven. Monthly is on a six. Okay. Apple. Look at a daily. Weekly. See, I like to have the monthly, weekly, and daily all come together, but they're not. Okay, let's look at all the indexes. The weekly on the Russell is actually on a seven count. Look at the S and P five hundred. We'll look at uh the dial Dow Jones. So load. All right. This is the daily oscillators. Not overbought. Not oversold. Neutral. Three day chart. Got a nine sell a week ago. They did sell off and then burst. Which I don't know. That doesn't mean anything just yet, but the price did go back above it. Technically, that was it. That's going higher. Take a look at the weekly. It's on a seven count weekly. What? Two more weeks? Possible upside? According to the weekly. Oscillators overbought. And it's. Listen, I mean. Wait, let's go to the monthly and then I'll. Seven's on a, I mean, the monthly's on a seven for the Dow. I mean, we literally have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten months of the market rebounding, making new all time highs without any very major significant correction. This is a pullback, it's not a major correction. This was a major correction. This was a, also a major correction. Also, the higher the price goes, it takes more to be a correction. Because if you zoom out, since 2009, this is, uh, 
This is quite a move for the boomer generation. Really be able to buy McMansions and uh, RVs. It's quite a move. Even though right now the economy is way worse than 2009. At some point, my blue line will be will be uh, revisited. Don't know when, but someday. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> I don't really want to hold stocks like at that point. I want to be. I don't know. On a on a farm in the middle of nowhere. Uh <clears throat> So maybe. Once this month's over, we have maybe two more months, maybe a little bit longer. I hope not. I would rather have... Uh, one of the guys did bring this up in the private group. But look, I mean, it would make more sense if they let it correct now, not later. Because it would be easier to reinflate this. And I do think everyone's sort of all in in the markets. The FOMO, the greed is at all time record highs. And honestly, personally, I want this to happen because metals will get smashed one more time and then we could really back up that truck. So let's see what happens in two weeks. I think we'll get a nice correction. We should. Things are really heating up in every other. By the way, there was another like cyber attack. And this time it was on nuclear like weapons so they're really pushing for you know i don't know what's going on with that but let your imagination go wild weird um let's see what happens in two weeks it's gonna be painful a lot of people are fumbling be patient to have cash on the sides most I have a lot of cash on the side and I haven't gone I haven't bought the dip with leverage stocks on metals and gone um, I haven't done that yet I bought the royalty streamer especially the new ones I was talking about that I put out in the private group all right here's gold I did do a thing the next bull market in 20 or bull cycle or rally in 2021, I expect it to go to 3,000, if not a little bit higher. So, with gold announced goes to 3,000, silver should get past 50 bucks. And what that means is the mining stocks will all like should do very, very, very unbelievably well, like 10x across the board. They're all priced right now, at like I don't know, fourteen hundred an ounce gold. So, yeah, I mean, gold had a nice bounce here. This is a monthly chart. Let's go to a daily. But we're still within the channel. And if the market corrects in the next few weeks or month, something, then we get that nice drop, right? Down to like 1700 but a major support would be the perfect buying opportunity. If it not, it might even go lower. I don't know. It depends how sharp and how bad the correction equities will be. I, I do worry that, you know, equities are going to get pumped for like two more months. And then maybe metals do go higher and it goes to like 2000 and then it turns into a giant bull trap and then everyone's FOMOing and they don't want to miss out. That would be very difficult. Yes, you could always put on a trade, put, on, put in some stops, but that'll make it difficult. If that happens, basically this. And then it's a giant bull trap and then it just gets slammed and then it goes back up because what ends up happening is you want to know why people never buy at the bottoms and the lows I'm saying this in the private group you know why nobody buys down here for one nobody believes it 
or two, nobody has patience, and three, nobody has cash. Well, let's just do Bitcoin because it's an easier chart. It's giving you an example. You you want to know why no one bought down here? Because they didn't have cash on hand. They didn't have any dry powder. You want to know why? Because they all bought here. And they didn't take profits. And now they're, they ran out of money. So they didn't buy here. Then it took them some time to make more money at their slave wage job. And now they're buying again here. And what's going to happen? So this is their average buy-in for your average normie retail investor person. When the FOMO starts. What's going to happen? It's going to correct again. Boom. They're again not going to have cash to buy here. And a lot of them will lose all their money because they'll panic around here. Give you guys examples of how it works. They always buy here. <laughs> when they can't handle their emotions and they feel like they're going to miss out. I also see people like always joining uh, the private group. When gold and silver is starting to take off and the mining stocks are starting to take off and towards like, you know, the moves already the moves already done most of its gains. By the way, the you know when you get rich, it's not when you buy here. When you buy down here, when nobody's paying attention, when nobody's interested, when everyone's bored and people don't have patience to hold on for a year or two the people who have patience to hold on they're the ones who make that life-changing money i could do the same with uh gold uh here let me go to a weekly for gold when did i start accumulating my mining stocks this time i was a little late back in like you know 2008 2009 I was young, but I was like still in college. Coolidge, um, buying it with student loan money. <laughs> um, I started in 2015 accumulating mining stocks. This is just the price of gold, I'm not showing you mining stocks. I started accumulating here, I've been holding for like years years and they're all up since right and this is just the beginning right if this goes to eight seven six thousand an ounce those mining stocks are going to be like you know a hundred times the shares will be a hundred times more than they were back in 2015 not even more you're looking at 100x or more that's how the game is played. It, those who have patience and control their emotions get rewarded. Everyone else becomes a, a statistic. I think I've pretty much uh, made myself very clear. What am I doing? All right. So yeah, I mean, this is the news. Stimulus deal in sight. We've seen this has happened nonstop. Also, the VAX, I mean, that's that's going to help the market go higher because everyone thinks it's going to be returned to normal, which I highly doubt. Um, and also, I want to see what happens on, this, on these important dates, right? The 6th of next month and then the 20th. And everything in between, probably very volatile because there's still a chance, right? I'm just saying. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Smash them likes, share my um, channel so it grows and I continue to do this. Leave anything in the comment section. If you're rude, I'll, I'll ban you. Um, go to my website, join, and uh, join the private group. Join all the links. Find me on other uh, platforms like BitChute. And just in case, you never know, because a lot of, if you look in your subscription feed, more than half the people are probably gone. All right, guys, until next time.